Alrighty, well hello there again. Tonight is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020 at 8.28 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. And I wanted to take a look at the planets once again. And here we have Jupiter with three of its moons on the left-hand side and one to the right. But let's try to get Jupiter in itself. See if we can get it in any better than last night. Alrighty, there we go. I do want to show how tiny Jupiter looks at 1600 millimeters on a full frame camera. Which is why it's so nice that you can magnify on the Canon cameras. I don't know if you can on others, but on other brands. I would guess that they do have some type of magnifier, but but here we are at the times five, which would make it eight thousand millimeters. And I do wish we had a 10x on this camera, but we don't. So there is the very poor 30x. <laughs> it is such a shame that they left off a middle ground here on the Canon RA camera. But anyway, let's head on over to Saturn. I might have to move though, because where I set up the tree might be in the way. We'll find out here shortly. Alrighty, that should be Saturn. Let's go in a bit closer. And we have our overexposed ring planet there. But let's get her in. Alright, I'm not too sure. It might be a bit too dark, but We'll work with it. And to show again how that tiny dot there is Saturn at 1600 millimeters on a full frame camera. And there we go at the 5X for 8000. Now I'm going to get a clip here. I'll be right back. Okay, and so we're going to go all the way up to our 30X. And it looks pretty bad, but it was kind of cool to show it in last night's video, so I'll probably do it again tonight. Now there's really no stars that I can see at the moment. And just for reference, I can't even see Saturn by eye. Only Jupiter. But we'll go back to the 5X magnify view. Now I know I keep calling this the focusing zoom, the 5x to 30x. I don't know if that's the official term. It just makes more sense to me. It might be called magnify reduce in the Canon manual. I'm not sure. But that's going to wrap it up because Mars has not risen. Venus won't rise until way late. The moon also, so... There we go. I might try to put another lens on and see if we can get anything of the Lagoon Nebula. But if not, this will have to do <laughs> already. So if I don't come back out, I'm going to wish you all a very good night. It's now 8.41 p.m. up here. Bye now.